Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your December 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every Libra who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. I know that when I view videos, uh, sometimes I, I absolutely love the video, but I forget to click that like button. So uh, that's my New Year's resolution. I'm going to start clicking the like button. Um, I hope you'll join me in that resolution. If you do like this video, click the like button. All right. Um, so we're going to do two cards for the past. Two cards for the present and two cards for a potential outcome in the future. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Happy, 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 right? Hermit. The bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with, of course, a Virgo. Or some of you have gone and done the introspective work on self to gain clarity to then possibly come off the heel the hermit heel come out of the hermit stage and be like the fool and take that leap of faith in a new direction see the hermit reflects on past um, action past experience and tries to do something different in a new light in a new time in this period of their life try to do something different uh, by way of gaining introspection and, and being reflective about okay what did I do in the past well it got me here well I don't want to be there so I'm not going to do that again so it's about getting off the hamster wheel of life um, and of existence within ourselves coming out of that doing something new to get a new result that's the only way you get that all right because some of you have been in that hermit mode some of this stuff is not so as spiritually um, so deep spiritually esoterically inclined some of this stuff is just really practical you know uh, we make things just deeply um, confusing Anyway, in the past, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. But in the past, we have the lovers. Okay. And we have the queen of air. Alright, so Libra had to make a decision, of course. A life-altering one. One that could have to do with two lovers. Or two things that you love. Or you chose. Or someone feels like you chose here. Yeah, you made a decision. You cut away something to have fulfillment with another thing. We're gonna open up that that you made this decision, um Try to be as logical as possible. Or you put a decision out there for someone else. Like you gave an ultimatum almost. The choice. Is. Libra's. Gemini, Aquarius. The choice is based in logic, strategy, and rationale. All right, presently we have the death card, Scorpio. Scorpio, this Scorpio always comes up for Libra. In the King of Fire. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with the King of Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, sometimes Cancer Man, or yeah, Cancer Man. Mm. 
Some of you transformed your desire. You thought you wanted one thing. Look, that choice back there. Do you put an ending to what you thought you desired or who you thought you desired? You you finally see that maybe this person for you to put an ending to something, maybe it just didn't serve you. Maybe it's not what you want. Maybe you got it and now or maybe it's taking too long. We did have the patience in reverse off camera. You ask yourself some real hard, fast truths about what it is you manifested here. Because then was a choice. Okay, in the near future, the Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, yeah. Some of you made a choice to cut away, to walk away from someone or something at one time you desired. No, this wasn't abruptly. The death card is the gradual change. Some of you are walking away from this long term relationship. Some of you are abruptly. Um, abandoning course here with the eight of cups and that's what you went into the hermit mode about am i doing the right thing what have i done in the past i want a different outcome i want transformation of myself and my life over what i want and what i desire it looks like some of you you decided to walk away from maybe a love affair. Someone couldn't choose or didn't choose or act like they chose. This might not even have been like a committed relationship, just a long standing love affair. Eight or more years, six to more years, six to eight years or or more. You got in the near future, you're going to get under some real regimen and rule, some spiritual regimen and rule, whatever that may be, that helps you abandon one position where you are investing emotionally, but not seeing a return. Not ever feeling like you get to the nine and ten of cups. Okay, let's open the read it up a little bit. Let's see what's going on. What's the Queen of Air and the Lovers? Some of you are retiring. Some of you are retiring, retiring one way that you you uh, gain income, earned income. It's the lovers and the queen of air. What is the lovers and the queen of air in the past? Thank you for clear, concise messages for Libra. Messages of love and light. Okay. Oh, the ten of hearts. Ooh, the Ten of Wands. Mm. What made you happy also made you sad and burdened. So, something about secret. Someone like had duality there. Like, I'm happy, but I'm also burdened. Because someone's not making a choice to maybe cut away. Or someone's not choosing me, Libra. Looks like Libra laid down the burden. Wow, Ace of Hearts.
something on there. Wow. This might have something to do with like a, I don't know, a Cancerian person. You have a family with them. They're being cold to you or you cold to them. They want you to make a decision about the family. Do you want this family, this love? Do you want them? Could even be a Gemini, but I don't I don't feel that. Or are you they want you to like you either want them to put the past away or they want you to. They want you to make a decision. Which what are you doing? Are you in or are you out? They're offering love, passion, and more love. Transformation in the King of Fire. Transformation in King of Fire. Some of you are traveling here. You're moving. Or you moved in the past. Six of Swords just came out of the deck off camera. Five of Swords. Ten of Diamond, yeah. So some of you, things in the family dynamic, maybe a business, family business, or a family, some family money. You made small achievements over these burdens, you know, over time. And then there was a reversal. You felt like it was moving forward and then something just shot you guys back or shot you back. It's more than one person. It could even be a family dynamic. Like, Yeah. Something came in and disappointed you. But it looks like you're going to get some help either in business. You'll have success in business. Maybe due to a jack of spades, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's going to be exactly what you hoped and wished for. Some of you, you will be able to retire. Eight of Diamond. You'll be able to... Um, travel later in life. You may even have marriage later in life for some of you. Something in, in the line of business and finance shook your finances and then help came or help is coming and it shifts you right back onto a good and sure footing. Uh, the Hierophant, the Eight of Water. Seven of Diamond. Nine of club. Seven of hearts. Nine of sword. Wow. Some of you in the future, you abandon your current position. Because you just feel like whatever it was, you're you just not getting um, a return on your investment. There might be some surprise news some good news that comes in baby news it didn't have to be you surprise news in the future that leads you to a new boyfriend a new girlfriend a secret admirer maybe uh aries sagittarius and leo i hope that this person is not a cheating spouse person that makes promises just to break them or a person that brings emotional confusion looks like what whoever you're dealing with is going to be up and down or has been up and down they bring you stress they take you high up into the cloud of illusion where you feel good and then you then you feel mental anguish extreme pain of the heart stress Okay, let's see what the advice from. Oh, we're at 14 minutes. Okay. Um, we're going to clarify over at the website to see what the advice is for Libra. See what the outcome is, the potential outcome with this back and forth person. This back and forth energy. 
All right, so Libra, I hope that this reading resonated with you, uh, for you, and that you gained a bit of clarity in your situation. Um, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Book a personal reading by clicking on the links below. Click on the extended read. Uh, $1.75 gets you an extended read. If it resonates now, you can get a potential outcome over at the website. $1.75. Um, also, if you purchase um, any merchandise below, you'll receive a five-minute free reading with me. If you purchase a gift card over at the website in the denomination of $50 or more, you'll receive a five-minute free reading. I think that's it. Happy holidays, Libra. Um, blessings. See you next year. Talk to you next year. Happy holidays. Bye.